Hi guys, welcome back to Young's Garden. Today I have a special, special clip all about my father's um, grafting technique and he will demonstrate to you today. Here is your um, supplies and you will need pruning shears, some grafting tape or electrical tape. Here is a tree wound um, to cover it up and rubber band, scissors, knife, and what's you what whatever you have on the side and here um, my dad is about to cut hit one of his first cuttings and this is on a rare jumbo red wax apple water apple that he found in Vietnam and he brought it over here and grew it and he's gonna graft this onto his other regular red wax apple and he is removing all the unnecessary growth which is all the leaves that's on there so he can graft it on so you just basically remove all these extra leaves all these extra growth on the, the cuttings and you don't really need a long cutting and here you just remove all this extra cutting um, that's on the plant itself and then you're gonna start cutting straight down in between or on the side of the stem the tree that you actually are not desired to grow um, or have it continue grow with the variety that you dislike so you just use this tree just to graft other good variety onto this plant. So now it's time to trim side to side or top to bottom, however you look at it. Try to expose the middle part where it gets its feeding. And this part is called the xylem and the phola. P-H-L-O-E-M Hopefully I pronounced that correctly but you can look it up um, just expose that middle area and once you get that part just squeeze it down right in the middle of the split the crack that you measured and split um, just kind of you know try to squeeze it in and pull out the part where you split so it doesn't break once it's right in the middle right in right in between there you start um, finishing the next step or the rest of your grafting and always try to eyeball it or measure it estimate the depth and the width or the length and the depth of it and, and you don't need too long of a cutting like I said or too long of a trimming some people do an inch some people do like two inch here my dad I think his is like an inch or half an inch and um, he's trimming more of it make the tip kind of sharp and thin towards the bottom and cut a little piece on the bottom so it will be exposed here my dad is not using the grafting tape but he likes to use his electrical grafting tape um, somehow it works for him I mean you can use your own tape um, they said if it has the glue on it it might kill it but somehow his works all his grafting are working I'm not sure if he has um, construction background that's why he likes it, to use electrical tape but hey whatever works um, whatever floats your boat you know um, but always be careful some tape is very toxic to the stem and the exposure of it so it might not work or take it so just be careful and do your research um, like I said this tape does work and it didn't harm my dad's trees in the past and his crafting really take so here he used tree wound and it's good for 
pruning, I mean, I'm sorry, good to cover all the exposure of the stem, all the cuttings. So he just basically cover it for protection and spreading it around. And after that, he just used the party bag. You can find this anywhere, 99 cent store. I mean, Target, Party City, Walmart, um, or online. Just type in party bags. Or if you don't have any of this and you want to save money, you can use like grocery bag, those small size that you get from the grocery for free, you know. Um, and then here he used like a rubber band and a nice trick that he used, just kind of put it on the bottom and just cover it, the whole thing. And sometimes you tie it tighter. I mean, you don't have to. Just treat this bag as a green effect to your plants. So it will keep up the moisture. Here is one of his um, old grafting that he did two weeks ago and looks like it's taking because you can see a lot of growth and this is only two weeks worth. And this is his cherimoya tree that he never really see fruit and the results of fruiting um, on this tree. So he just basically made a big decision and cut it off in half and he grafted all this um, African pride onto it. And this is like two weeks off two weeks worth of growth after grafting. So it is amazing. Um, this is another example of last year's grafting and you can see the connection and all this growth. It's just amazing to see all this growth from grafting. And this is again, um, African pride onto Cherimoya. So um, it looks difficult and complicated, but actually it's really easy. Um, just try yourself. Like I said, this is, you know, um, DIY. Just do it yourself, try it. Um, there's always trial and errors. Um, you can't get it the first time. You're probably gonna get it the second time because grafting is not that hard and it can be addicting just to warn you and here are some more of his trees some of the growth that's um he grafted two weeks ago and this one is more than two weeks for sure and it does take and you can see his electrical um tape is still there <laughs> so um and that's pretty much it i would like to show you my air layered technique actually it's not mine it's my dad's so you can see the roots coming out of it and that is another technique of removing a mature um, plant from the mother plant and you don't have to plant or you don't have to grow like from seeds and wait for a few years this once you once it's rooted you can cut it off from the bottom plant it and get fruits the same year or a few years you know like maybe a year or two instead of like 20 years later it's very fast and that's how nursery does it um that's how you know people are doing it now um you basically just use peat moss wrap it in the middle and that's pretty much it and that might be my next video so tune in thanks for watching hope you enjoy i hope this helps and again don't forget to subscribe to help my video grow bye